How sick is this new animation on FIFA 19 Ultimate Team? So it's basically the pack animation, but when you complete the player of the month for Lucas from the Premier League, as you can see, he actually does his walkout and you get the purples, the greens, or the turquoises, whatever it is, and it looks really, really cool. So yes, as you can tell, today's video is going to be a player review on 86 rated player of the month, Lucas from Spurs. Uh, I, I wanted to do this video a few days Ago, but I've been super super busy and we finally got around to it and here we go so looking at his card stats themselves we have 94 pace 89 dribbling 83 shooting and 83 passing he's five foot nine he's got medium medium work rates right footed on the right hand side uh, with a three star weak foot could that be a bit of a problem uh, and he does have the four star skill so uh, first off I love the item design I think it looks great I really like the dynamic image and stuff how it sort of like works in with the card itself and it's that it looks better than what things looked on on previous fifas right uh and i think off the bat the boosts that he's been given look amazing we can delve into the in-game stats a little bit more uh right about now uh, and as you can see on 100 team cam 10 player cam we're using the marksman chemistry style he gets some really really good boosts in the shooting dribbling and physical department so uh, the reason i'm using marksman is because i've recently found it to be pretty awesome look what it does, it gives you, like, actual stat boosts in every single one of the shooting stats. So, attack positioning, finishing goes up to 90, uh, 93 shot power, 93 long shots with a plus 10, volleys go up to 88. I'm really impressed with how Marksman is looking uh, for shooting stats, which is one of the areas I definitely wanted to boost uh, for Lucas. I wanted to get long shots, volleys, and finishing up as much as possible. Uh, and, well, the odd little plus 5 on strength isn't really going to help us, but topping him off in a few areas for dribbling is definitely going to be useful as well. Um, so I've got a couple of different squad options for you today for Lucas. The first one is like a full-on Brazil side uh, where he plays as like a right winger in a 4-3-3, like the fourth variant. So uh, nice and wide with, uh, well, it's actually quite attacking as well with a cam, two wingers and the striker there. Uh, and he plays up front with Alex Pato and Philip Coutinho. Really nice team uh, for, you know, anyone that likes to use Brazilian players on this game. They're always pretty silky and skillful and stuff. Uh, and then we have the Prem team. Team. This is the team that I actually used him in. So you can see a couple of things. We've got a better squad here. This is sort of like a more top tier squad. And we've also sort of made it a little narrower. We've gone with the uh, 4 3 2 1, where Lucas plays as a right forward, really getting involved and acting as like one of the one of three strikers as opposed to someone who's out on the wing. Uh, and. I know a lot of the reviews that I've been doing lately, I've been starting with this formation and actually switching it to a 4-1-2-1-2 and my right forward normally goes either striker or cam. That wasn't the case today. I literally did play with the 4-3-2-1. I wanted to test him out as a right forward because I don't know whether, I guess he suits a striker better than he suits a cam because he's got better shooting. Well, I don't know. The shooting stats are very similar to the passing stats, aren't they? Um, but th that's kind of the reason why. I wanted to play him as a winger because I feel like he looks and could play exactly like a proper winger should so uh, we left the formation as it was today and we I, I wanted to see how involved I could get in terms of like custom tactics and stuff uh, I told him to stay forward uh, I I didn't tell him to like go out wide or I didn't tell him to stay central or anything I just wanted to see what he would do uh, and then like you know average interceptions don't get back to help defend just stay up there and really be a part of my attack uh, and I noticed him to do that really well he was always up there and doing good stuff for me uh, we can talk about positives and negatives and we will get the negatives out of the way first stamina is low that's one stat that I was I was a little bit worried about when I was completing the SBC I was like is he going to be any good because he's got really like average stamina and it is a problem in the latter stages of a game but He's, he's he's actually pretty crazy for most of the game that you, you don't really, you know, a lot of the time you'll have already scored all your goals uh, by the 70th minute because you're using a player like Lucas who's really, really good. Um, and well, this is a goal that he scored right towards the end of the match. So it's not like he's useless, but I just find that the, the runs he makes, well, he's just a little bit slower. He's got a little bit less juice in the tank and stuff like that. So uh, stamina is a bit of an issue, but not, not as bad as I first thought it would be. Uh, weak foot. 
is probably the, the biggest issue for a player like this. Like, I've hit one or two crazy shots with the left foot, but most of the time you're going to definitely want to stay on that right peg, especially with finesse shots. Sometimes it might be a wise idea to switch wings so that he can cut inside and hit those whippy finesses because that's what FIFA 19 is all about, uh, and being right-footed on the right-hand side means that that's going to happen a little bit less often for him. You can see a lot of the goals that I am scoring are those finesse shots, uh, and that's what I would definitely recommend to you guys. And then height and strength, they're both just low, as you would imagine, for a player like this. In terms of positives, though, uh, pace is amazing. Like, off-the-ball pace is, is brilliant. The way he makes runs, that his attack positioning, and the way that he gets past those defenders uh, and then get waits for that ball to be played through to him. Really, really impressive. Obviously, yes, you do get caught up a little bit once you're on the ball because that's just the way it is on FIFA 19. Uh, but he has got all the tools in his locker to stay away from defenders. He's got the pace. He's got incredible agility and balance. We're talking like messy like He's really, really agile. It's awesome. He's got awesome dribbling as well. So he moves with the ball incredibly, incredibly well. And he's got four-star skill moves at his disposal too so the, the fact that he's got that combo it just suits it just suits the way that you can play on this game you can weave in and out you can make a couple of skill moves happen uh, and get past those defenders uh, but what I'm most impressed with this guy for his composure the way he is just calm on the ball uh, and I'm talking in situations where you've got to make a pass where you've got to play that key through ball to get to the striker he makes it happen he gets the assist or when you're in front of goal and you've got to, you've got to net past the goalkeeper. He makes it happen. He's got great shot power. The long shot ability, the volleys are awesome. And of course, a plus 10 on that finishing means that he can actually net in front of goal in a high pressure situation. I rate him. I think for the price that he costs, like if he is somewhere between 40 to 55,000 coins to do the SBC, you get packs back. I think it's worth it. I will be doing it on my road to glory. Uh, that's how much I think it's worth it. So there you go, guys guys. Do me a favor, smash that like button if you have enjoyed. Don't forget to sub if you're new around here. Have a great day. I'll catch you next time. Peace.